I'm going to guess that Jimmy Johnson, if he ever does, joins the IndyCar world, Jimmy Johnson would be doing the road course races, like I mentioned. And he would, and I'm going to guess the team that he would be on is Ed Carpenter Racing. Yeah, I was wrong about my prediction. However, in my defense, Jimmy wants to do road course racing and Art and Ed Carpenter would continue to do all those only for his own team. That's my defense right there. But as you can tell from the very first episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez, ironically, I was wrong. But at least it's been confirmed that Jimmy Johnson will finally join the IndyCar side. Hooray! What is going on, E Nation fans? This is Ian Press 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. This is the 28th episode of this series. And today, we're going to be talking about Jimmy Johnson announcing yesterday that he'll be having a two-year deal with Chip Ganassi Racing's IndyCar team starting next year after he finishes his full-time NASCAR career. And he will be doing road courses as planned. So, so, I don't know where to begin. I know I'm late on this. I want to apologize for it. But hey, better late than never. And um, my personal thoughts about this, honestly, it's very awesome to see Jimmy Johnson doing something different and joining an actual motorsports series, unlike a certain one, I will not get to that, but I know I'll get shit on anyway, regardless no matter what. But anyway, so Jimmy Johnson joining IndyCar, how about that? Who would have thought that we would see a NASCAR driver joining IndyCar? Because normally, and this has, and this is common in the past years or so. Normally, it would be the other way around. IndyCar drivers going to NASCAR. You know, like Dario Franchitti did that, Dan Patrick did that, Patrick Carpentier did that, Tony Stewart did that, pretty much JJ Yaley did that. Um, the list goes on. So yeah, to see a NASCAR, to see the Uno reverse card of Jimmy Johnson. A NASCAR driver going to IndyCar. Well, how about that? And I'm happy to see Jimmy Johnson wanting to do IndyCar because apparently, like, he wanted to do the series for a while. And honestly, like, hey, who would have thought that Jimmy would actually do IndyCar? All those road courses only, but hey, still. I can't wait to see how Jimmy does, but however, he will need to gain a bunch of experience um, before the 2021 IndyCar series starts. And um, so hopefully, whatever he does, I hope it goes extremely well. If he does, when he starts his IndyCar career, I don't really expect anything big or spectacular or something. Whatever he does the next year, or 2022, I'm sure there's just going to be learning curves. Uh, learning curves of uh, IndyCar racing on road courses. Everybody knows that Jimmy Johnson has not been the greatest when it comes to road racing. Yes, he did win 2010 Sonoma, but he still did struggle on road courses, except for the Charlotte Robo. He's actually been amazing at that track. Hendrick in general has been doing well on that track. And that's, that's something else. That's something else. I like that. But everybody knows Jimmy's not the best at road courses. But hey, at least he'll get to learn to do better road courses but an IndyCar way. And this is a good thing for IndyCar as well. Why? Because we're going to have one of NASCAR's greatest drivers of all times, a modern legend as well, joining IndyCar. And we and you guys know how NASCAR fans are. They'll join. Uh, they'll watch whatever the driver does. You know. Um, fuck. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. I'm sorry for messing up. But yeah. Like any fan of the sport will watch whatever the driver does. Depends who you are. 
and to see Jimmy going to IndyCar, I think this is a good taste of NASCAR fans, Jimmy Johnson fans, not only seeing Jimmy in IndyCar, but to see how IndyCar is. And honestly, if you guys want, if you guys at least heard about the series, but never really got around to watch IndyCar, even without Jimmy Johnson, I think I, I recommend you guys to watch IndyCar. It's an action motorsports series. There's no stupid ball sports gimmicks like NASCAR has or a bunch of gimmicks. Literally, the only gimmicks that IndyCar has is the push to pass and double points, but they only do that for the Indy 500 now, so is it really a big deal? Maybe. But seriously, IndyCar has only one gimmick in. And of course, NASCAR fans will bring up, oh, but IndyCar has one gimmick. They had the push to pass. They, shut up, NASCAR fans. NASCAR has a bunch of gimmicks. You guys got no room to talk, so stop. <laughs> joking, joking. Do not shit on me or try to cancel me, please. <sighs> like, hey, at least NASCAR's trying to fix themselves. But IndyCar with Roger Penske, they're trying to, like, grow more. But to have Jimmy and IndyCar, hey, this is a good chance for them for not only see how Jimmy does Indy car, but see how the series does. And yeah, this will be good for ratings. Because you got a popular NASCAR driver. And all this good stuff. And I just really hope if you guys do watch Indy car for the first time. I really wish you guys had fun. It's, it's amazing. I know this, this year hasn't been the greatest Indy car season. But hey. If you guys are new to IndyCar, you're going to watch IndyCar next year. Have yourselves a good time. The IndyCar fan base is amazing. They're not perfect, but they're amazing people. And I just really wish Jimmy Johnson the best of luck in IndyCar. And I believe he's going to be the fourth car for Ganassi. He's not going to share rides with uh, Marcus Erickson, for example. He's gonna be the fourth car, although he will mostly race, he will race all road courses. So does that basically count? Does that basically mean like part time? Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I sound stupid. I I want to apologize for that. I want to apologize for that. And but there are uh, some fans are still concerned about how Jimmy. What else Jimmy's gonna do besides racing in IndyCar road courses? Jimmy did say he wants to do some IMSA races. Um, part-time NASCAR races, like, because I, we will see a different driver in the 48 next year, and you guys unfortunately know the, the fifth car is not a thing because of the stupid four-car limit, so I don't think Jimmy will, here's my prediction again, if Jimmy does some NASCAR races still next year, part-timing, He's going to be the third Ganassi car, depending on sponsorship. That's what I'm going to predict. Kind of sounds obvious to some people, but you never know, okay? Sometimes things can be unpredictable. Like, hey, I predicted Johnson going to Ed Carpenter for road cross races. Guess what? That didn't happen. Johnson's going to Ganassi. So I was, I was wrong back in February. So am I excited for Jimmy going to IndyCar? Yes. Am I nervous about Jimmy going to IndyCar? Of course I am. He's been my he's been my childhood driver, and I am a bit nervous to see how he will do. Not only for IndyCar, but of course at road courses because everybody knows he's not the greatest road course racer. I mean, he finished third of the dates on road course, but I'd be like Sonoma. Besides that one, one is a struggle. Watkins Glen. That's like a tougher track for Jimmy when it comes to road courses. Honestly, if NASCAR had more road courses, I think a bunch of drivers would have road course experiences. Who knows? But I'm excited and nervous for Jimmy Johnson. And, and the IndyCar side of me, I'm going to have a great time next year because, oh man, of course, everybody knows me. Every, everybody sees me more as a willpower fanatic. And I like that. It makes me feel happy that it's a different motorsport series. People see me as this driver, but in a different racing series. So I'm going to have a good time next year. I'm going to have Will Power, Spencer Piggott, if he does race, if and when he does race, because he's not a full-time driver. He does himself full-time, but he's not a full-time IndyCar driver. And I'm going to have Jimmy Johnson, 
So basically, I'm going to have two or three drivers to root for in IndyCar next year. Man, I'm going to have a good time again. Like, I've been watching, I've been big on watching IndyCar since 2012. Like, I saw some races from 2010, 2011. Like, a few races, but I officially got into IndyCar in 2012. And, man, I'm looking forward to next year. Uh, not only because this year has been not the greatest, but uh, you can thank the pandemic. But you got Jimmy coming up. Every like a lot of people are gonna tune in for Jimmy Johnson, of course. But hey, this is good for IndyCar and all that good stuff. So I feel good about this. But don't expect Jimmy to be like oh, like a winning driver right away. Like like I said, he's a, he he will be in a learning learning curve. He will make some mistakes, but he will learn from them. He's Jimmy Johnson, and, um, like, yes, he's a legend, but I'm speechless right now, but next year, it's just going to be a learning curve for Jimmy. Let's see how it goes, and I just wish Jimmy the best of luck. I really wish he, the best of him having a good IndyCar career next two years. So, yeah, so that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Follow my social accounts. Instagram, I'm impress25 and emprs 40 underscore yt. Like my Facebook page, enasco 40 Nation films Don't forget to follow, fuck. Don't forget to follow me on Reddit. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel on notifications for more content. Thank you guys so much for supporting Ian Nation. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.